Look, we got the Mexican OT in here. That Mexican OT. What's going down, baby? Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. Let's have fun, baby. Welcome, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. So man. who's your favorite wrestler of all time? Um, man, dude, I'm gonna have to go with John Cena. Cena? I would love to say uh Edgar, you know what I'm saying? I mean Edgar. <laughs> Eddie, Eddie Guerrero, you know what I'm saying? R. I. P. But yeah. I feel like Eddie was like cause how old are you? Because Eddie died like yeah, I'm, I'm 24. I just turned uh, 24 right now. So you probably didn't really get to watch Eddie, like, for real, for real, when he was, like, popping, popping. Nah, not so much. But like I said, just because of what he stands for, how he came out, the, the low rider, all that. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? And he a Texas Mexican. That's really what it is. But, you know what I'm saying? At the end and now the day, with the WWE Network, you can catch up on all that. Right, right. Bro, the, the video game, I bought the newest one. And, like, they had, like, uh, on the story mode, you can unlock characters and their skins. You could unlock the Rey Mysterio costume. Mm -hmm. the, uh, I think it was like 90, it was 90 something. It was yep. Halloween and he had the all purple suit. Halloween Havoc. <sighs> yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That's what's up. You know who you'll never be able to unlock? Who? Chris Benoit. Why? Because he murdered his entire family in a steroid rage. Damn. And then killed himself. Damn. It was a steroid rage. That's what that was. Yeah. Holy fuck. That makes that shit way crazy. I thought he was just depressed. I'm sure it was a lot of that. He was on roids. He had a ton of concussions. Juice the f up. That's crazy. Just murdered his whole family. Yeah. Nah, that's, that's insane. But, but also, one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. Yeah. But somehow he raced from the books. That's crazy. You, you, remember, got uh, you remember Sergeant Slaughter? Of course. Yeah, he was crazy. I feel like Sergeant Slaughter was like a little racist. Yeah, but I mean, dog, like I... There's some I of those like old like, like wrestlers. Bro, I love Uncle Ruggies. Great. Uh, Do you like the Boondocks? Bro, by far, but definitely top three for me. Wait, I got to see. I got to blow your mind, though. Thank God for the white women. <laughs> Yo, first of all, Uncle Ruckus is one of the best TV characters ever. Hey, who do you think would win in the fight? Charleston White or Uncle Ruckus? Uncle Ruckus. Yeah, thank Charleston God. Charleston White's pussy. Hey, bro, Uncle Ruckus was fucking fighting with Huey. You know, Huey fucking, he knew, like, what was it? Like, fucking some crazy shit. Stink Mina knew it, too. Stink Mina died, went to oh, hell, to beat this. Satan up with that fighting shit, and listen came this, back. Though. Hold on, listen. Hey, America, this is Uncle Ruckus. No, really. Uncle Ruckus. Like. And even though he dressed and sound like a donkey, you are listening to the greatest white man. Oh, Lord. He smell like furniture polish and lemon zest. God bless his white skin. Yeah. Leg calf. I got a fucking Uncle Ruckus drop. That's fucking hard, dog. Yeah. <laughs> That's hard. Yeah. You, remember, uh, you remember Clayton Bigsby? Of course. Dave Chappelle? Dave Chappelle's that guy. Chappelle you want to see my face? <laughs> and then everyone, and then the guy's head explodes. Oh, fuck. Yeah. And then he divorced his own wife because she was an N-word lover. Yeah. Oh my God, such a great. We want to see your face, Clayton Bixby. Come on, Clayton, show us your face. Yeah. <laughs> hey, shout out Dave Chappelle, man. He was over there fucking with my dog Ralph Barbosa. That shit was cool to see. You got uh, Ralph Barbosa doing the skits with you on your album. Yes, yeah, sir. We actually have some, uh, some like you know, some anime to it too. Ah, yeah, some animation. Is that started to roll out? Uh, I don't know, but I know we're it's coming. I don't, you know, yeah, it's definitely gonna be a part of the project. I just don't know. I don't think we have a drop date for it, maybe. Yeah, so your album has like a, a very continuous theme throughout it, mm -hmm. which is dope, because I feel like a lot of artists these days don't use skits. Like the, when, right. we, when I was growing up, skits were like important parts of albums. Yeah, Eminem did them all. Eminem, I mean, Kanye, like yeah. fucking Big Pun, like yeah. skits were the shit. So you like like for you, is it like important to make sure you kind of, you know, had a full theme throughout the project? I actually wasn't even... I wasn't even thinking of skits. I was so worried about just making good music. John, my boy Johnny was the one that was like, because like me, I'm not the type of person where like I know albums and right. and songs and shit. Like I'm a type of person like if it's here it and I hear it and I know it, I know it. But I don't right. know the name of it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I am. So like I wasn't even thinking of that because I didn't know that that was. I didn't understand that that was laid out in projects. You know what I'm saying? So when he told me, like, yeah, you know, the, man, all, the, all these projects are heavy, you know, it just made sense. I was like, damn, I want to do that. And then, uh, you know, as soon as Ralph got that, he had a fucking notepad full of, you know, all these notes. And, you know, we just went crazy from there. Um, you have a song on your album. Is it called Briannon? Brian? Briannon. Briannon. It's kind of like uh, your version of, like, Eminem's Kim a little bit. You think so? How how yeah, how much of a true man, story is both, that? We both got like women issues. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say like uh, that's a pretty crazy record. Yeah, you've heard it. 
Yeah, I listened to the whole album. Oh, proud. That's hard. That's hard as fuck. Yeah, yeah. Th- I only th- I got I, I got all the way to like the last two records I didn't hear. I didn't hear the uh, I think was it Cowboy Murder or some shit or Cowboy Killer. Cowboy in New York. Oh, Cowboy Killer. Yeah, I didn't get to that. The last two from there. Yeah, that's okay. I'm but excited. I, I think the last that. record I heard was the Cowboy in New York record. Yeah, Cowboy in New York was definitely fun. I uh, that one was crazy to do. Well, listening to the album, you obviously have a very uh, a very strong relationship with psilocybin and mushrooms and other other substances, of course. But uh, yeah, I got acid right there, the compound formula. I got fucking tap acid right here. Shrooms going out his head. SpongeBob and Squidward. It says smoking seaweed. I love drink marijuana. The ugly duckling. You what's know what I'm what's but, the worst trip you've ever had on either shrooms, acid, or I don't know if you've ever done DMT or anything like real fucking. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I did. But you did like, DMT? I, I've done Molly. I don't know if that's the same, right? Isn't yeah. It? yeah I mean, I mean Molly's a. Fu- I mean. Yeah, Molly. Um, I never had a bad trip on Molly. That was pretty cool. I kind of just sunk into my couch on yeah. that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like acid. Acid was the ones where I had bad trips. What were you seeing? Fucking. I, I saw. I saw sound travel. I couldn't mm. hear it, and I saw sound travel. So you couldn't hear the sound, but you could see it. Yeah, couldn't hear it though. What the fuck? Yeah, it was going out like muffled. Like at first, it sounded like I was in water, and people were talking and screaming. And then eventually, it just started going out. And, it just... and then, been... I, and then, like I wouldn't hear it, but I would, I would feel the bass like, and then I would see it like, woof. like it was, so it was like imagine bass hitting, and then it'll go like. Like it would start fast and then you know the PS you know the PS3, like when you started it, you know that shit. <laughs> yeah. That's what the sound looked like. Yeah. It looked like that. The little intro screen? Yeah, it looked like that. Ooh. And, and and but it was only like in flashes of the bass. Interesting. Yeah, it was insane. I was butt ass naked running up and down Sinclair Street in West Columbia. That's I was so fucked off. My boy Billy was trying to get me in the car and the window was rolled down. He was talking to me. I was so fucked off. I couldn't even comprehend how to get in the car, I'm trying to put my leg through the window. That yeah. was off of acid? Off of acid. Jeez. I didn't get this. Sh- I didn't get acid because it's fucking cool. I got it to remember, dude. Drugs don't are real. <laughs> yeah, like drugs are real. Like don't fuck with that. even marijuana. Like you shouldn't be playing with that. I shit. I don't think you should eat marijuana. It can go left if you eat it. Like edibles. Yeah, edibles I are lie. the devil. I ain't, I ain't never had no edible that just smacked me like that. Oh man. <laughs> fuck that. Tell me, tell me, dog. The worst, like the worst trip of my life wasn't even on because I eat a lot of shrooms. But the worst trip of my life was because I ate like a hundred milligram edible on accident, and I was I went to a Ritz. On accident? I went to a Ritz How and eat. What the fuck is that? What do you mean on accident? Somebody gave me a cake pop, and I was only supposed to eat like it was like a big cake pop, and I was only supposed to eat like. A oh, and they didn't tell you. So I ate the whole thing. Oh fuck! And then I went to a Yellow Wolf Ritz concert. Yellow Wolf, shout out Yellow Wolf. And uh, dog. <laughs> I was at the show and my, my legs were like implanted into the concrete. Holy I couldn't walk. Fuck, holy fuck. There was a fucking a cartoon Garfield on stage. Yeah. And his eyes were like rolling like Garfield the cat. They were rolling like a slot machine. And I could hear everyone's conversation. Holy fuck. So I could like hone in. It was like legit superpowers. Yeah. Like in the middle of a concert, I can hone in on somebody like a hundred yards away and listen to their whole fucking conversation. Like, it was crazy. That's insane. And then I puked everywhere. And then just the shit. Every time I get super fucked up, the shit that would happen to somebody to freak out you when you're fucked up would happen. Yeah. So like this fucking crazy Native American dude got all fucking turned up and started yelling about <laughs> white people stealing the country and shit. <laughs> and he got into a fight with security like two feet from me and I was Damn. just like, dog, is this shit real? This, bro, I'd have been out of there when I started throwing up. Like, I ain't never thrown up. I think the only drug I've thrown up I on was cocaine. On, I threw up on uh, Yellow Wolf's tour bus. So shout out to him. <laughs> fuck. Yeah. Off shrooms. Or at, at shrooms. No, no, weed. Oh, Eating weed. weed. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Man. No, I've never had. So shrooms, I'm like, you know, I love shrooms. Yeah. You've never had like a therapeutic experience Mm-mm. off of the shroomies? Mm-mm. Oh, you haven't eaten enough, man. Uh, yeah, I've just tripped dick. What'd you say? I just tripped dick. Tripped dick. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know how people are like, down tripping paws, bro. You tripped dick. Yeah, I was just like, I was right there, but just like a little level above. You've never done DMT? I don't think so. Uh, I've done DMT like the... <sighs> the little pen thing? Yeah. That's bullshit. Is it? Yeah. Okay. You got a free basin like a crack. Put me on, baby. If you get DMT, the real shit, you got to freebase it. Like it's, it's literally like smoking crack. The, Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's like you get the fucking tinfoil and then you get the pipe. It's, it's literally crack. You've done it. No, my best friend has. I've done the pen thing. I'm scared, dude. Shut it. What the, what the hell? No, I've seen, I was with my best friend when he did it. Man. And I, I, I bitched out. I ain't going to lie to you. Like, fuck that. Yeah, I I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it when I'm ready. You ever heard of, you done whippets? 
No. Yeah, me neither. Like my homeboy, he was like, dogs, like the fucking craziest 15 seconds ever. I'm like, what? 15 seconds? Fuck. Yo, that. when I interviewed Gunna, he was whipping it out. Are you shitting me? He walked into the studio with like a little fucking like box of fucking. The <laughs> and he was just lighting up the whippets right before he went on camera. Yeah. Draco loved the whippets too. I that's had a I had a whip whippet infused Draco the Ruler interview. Oh, that's hard. By the time he stood up, it was just canisters like all around him. <laughs> oh shit! Rest in peace. Yeah, yeah, the whippets are serious, but you have a fucking brain aneurysm and die off. You like uh, you like yay? I've never done cocaine. One time, I remember uh, I, I was gonna say this earlier because it made me think of it when you were talking about throwing up on the, on the drugs. I think it's the only drug I've ever thrown up on, and I don't drink like that. Right. So, um, and we were fishing. We had just got back from fishing, and we were walking from the pond to my grandpa's house. Cocaine and fish. Yeah, best ever. Love it. And uh, and uh, I'm on the way back, and dude, it's like 8 p.m., right? And I uh, hit a fucking mean-ass line, dog, like right. mean-ass line. And I'm like, I was like, man, I don't feel hood. I was like, I don't feel hood. And I was like, nah, I pushed that hoe back down. And as soon as we get to my grandpa's, I just see him on the porch. He's like, what's up? And you know, he said something. I just fucking let it all out. Boom, pooped up, puked all over the trailer. Oh. All over this the trailer. This was in a trailer? Like, yeah, at my grandpa's double trailer. Double wide? Uh, no, nah, I don't think he's a double wide. I've lived in a trailer before. Yeah, you know? ain't nothing wrong with trailers. Shit, shout out to the trailers, baby. Yeah, shout out to the trailers for real. Some of them trailers is nice. Bro, especially them double wise too. Them like double exactly wise. what you were talking about. You wouldn't about. even know it, bro. Bro, on a cool dog, I'm cool with that. Like, I'm happy. If God give me that, I'm happy, dog. Like, I just need like two acres in a fucking double wide. A double wide to have you with a, fi with a firehouse. A little fucking satellite on top. Yeah, I don't need no crazy shit. I don't need no pool. I don't need no, none of that. You can have an inflatable pool. Yeah, hey, that's even better. I do that with a trampoline, you know what I'm saying? And I'm cool with that. You get on a trampoline? Hell yeah. Yo, this tooth is fake. Because huh? when I was a kid, I was at some bitch's house when I was 14. Yeah. And we're all jumping on the trampoline at the same time. And I flew so fucking high in the sky, dude. I fucking ate shit on the concrete, chipped my tooth. I look like fucking... Like a shittier white version of Nas as a child. <laughs> hey, shout out my boy Caleb, man. I need three more. One time it was me, him, my dog Pat, and Eduardo. And I'm talking to my dog Caleb, and he's like talking. And mid conversation, just stops and just and just falls forward, right? Boom. And I, I don't know why I should have caught him, but like I did. Wait, what? This, this is on a trampoline or on, no? On this is cocaine. like on ground. No, on dab, oh. on dab actually on oh, wax. Oh, on a dab? Yeah. On oh wax. yeah, dab will fuck you up. So listen, dog. He just falls forward and like I kind of felt like a hoe because like I should have caught him, but I thought he was being funny. So I'm like, nigga, get the fuck Did off he, me. He busted his tooth. Straight forward, face first on a metal bucket. Dog, I look at the bucket and the bucket looked like it won, but it was still, you know what I'm saying, like in, like it was beat in. And and then like, bro, he's face first, like like face down on the ground, like on his belly, hands back like this. And we flip him over and we're like, dog, Caleb, are you good? Are you okay? Are you okay, dog? What the fuck? He was like, yeah, I'm okay. What, what are you talking about? You should see yourself. Yeah, dog. He, he didn't even realize. Bro, like, and he just laid there and then he goes... I think my fucking fit, uh, my tooth is gone. Yeah, and like he's so nonchalant about everything, dog. And I'm sitting here looking for his tooth. Look in the bucket. The tooth is in the bucket. I'm like, yo, dog. Jesus. Christ. Yeah. So he's got a tooth like that too. Sounds and, like uh, a sick ass night. Dog, it was scary. Honestly, like in the moment, it was like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Everyone's high. Your boy's bleeding. Bro, his his uh, yeah fell face first. I, you say uh, you had a, a, a puking experience on cocaine. Is it true if you try to have sex on cocaine that your 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 Johnson will not be up to par? Yeah, like dope dick. That's a thing. Yeah, I don't know. I ain't ever. I don't think I've ever. I don't think I've ever tried to fuck on cocaine because every time I was on cocaine, I was doing some bad shit. Right. Or just not with women. Like I was just not. Or I might have been with them, just not worried. So about you've them. never like because I'll be so hype off that. You've shit. never done coke off a chick's ass. Mm, no. Nah. I feel like that. See, I've never done cocaine, but I had a girl sniff cocaine off my dick. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That shit sound cool. Right. But that whole ass probably just, you know what I'm saying? Like, Well, there's like uh, the opening scene of Snowfall Season 1, Episode 1. I saw it off uh, Wolf on Wall Street. Well, the, the dude's one lead blowing in. Oh, in the blowing ass. Co coke in this bitch's ass. And yeah, I put, we put, I put, I put, I put, out of her face. I ain't never seen that. I put an X on a bitch ass, though. I put an X on a bitch ass, though. You put ecstasy in a bitch's ass? Look, EXO. What is EXO? EXO. That's ecstasy. Yeah, EXO. Okay, okay. Yeah, hey, you're Texas slaves. You know, I, hey, man. They're not called EXOs? I don't know. I don't it's do crazy. ecstasy. 
Like the little pills that come, they, they, they look like they look here. like they look like look like, 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 Ferraris and so you stuffed Simpsons. it in her ass. Yeah. Did you fuck the the pill into her butt? Nah, hell no. Nah, I'm not an animal. You just stuffed it in. <laughs> Could you imagine if you fucked her after and then you're getting like ecstasy like residue up your dick hole? Jesus Christ. <laughs> White powdered shit. That man. might be kind of wild. Yeah, that's some wild shit. You're, <laughs> you're nasty. <laughs> you're the one stuffing pills up bitches' asses. I didn't say fuck it though. I mean <laughs> <laughs> like maybe leave, you could leave the finger in there. Yeah, you gotta make yeah. sure it gets in there. Definitely, without a doubt, make sure it get in there. How was the uh, session after that? Bro, like she got something to prove. Mm. Sucking dick look like she sneezed on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if it doesn't look like you sneezed on it, I don't want it. I don't want it. I do not want it. It's I heard this girl say this shit. Oh, there's this video of this girl on Instagram, right? And you just see this dude's legs in the air and it's his feet, right? And then she comes and you hear his dick sucked. And then she comes on, she's like, if you ain't sucking dick like that, I don't hear y'all. You ain't sucking dick. You ain't sucking dick. She and was eating his ass, too. Bro, she was doing something. She was eating ass. She was going crazy. She was, yeah, she was, if his, and leg, then you just his see, legs were up and in then the you air. Just, and you see homeboy's legs in the air, and he's like, ah. Oh. <laughs> there was a lot more going on than dick sucking right there, sir. Dog, it shit you not. That's on Instagram, bro. That was on Instagram. Yo, I just, I just, oh, I didn't. Do you know who Andrew Scholes is, the comedian? No, sir. Okay. He had a, Ralph was on his show. So he's got a, a podcast called Flagrant. Okay. And they've played this YouTube video. It's on YouTube right now. Okay. It somehow has not been violated or yanked down. There's this gay dude who's got a YouTube channel and he shaves his whole asshole on YouTube. And it's still on, it's got 35 million views <laughs> and it hasn't been yanked. It hasn't been taken down. This shit is insane because it's instructional. So y'all going to... That got a problem with me saying specific words. You, but can, they, but you can't have a bitch twerking in your video, but this guy's whole asshole's busted open on YouTube. Oh, I can't have chickens fight, but they got I, they can show have some have fun, fucking hairy ass booty hoe. It's because it's instructional. So Bro, it's fucking crazy though. It's got thirty some odd million views. What does it look like? I did, I was watching it on the podcast. It was blurred out. Don't lie. I didn't look. I don't, don't lie. I mean, we can watch it now. What does it look like? That's just if he was, if he's right-handed and was shaving with the left hand, that's kind of talent. That's probably, I, that's the only reason why I see why it's on, like valid on keeping it up. Every day, that's hard. Yeah, bro, think of it, dog. That's like, that's like writing with your left hand, and you're right-handed. Except you're shaving your asshole. Except you're shaving your asshole. Wait, you gotta see this shit. It's, it's edited because I'm not gonna. I, I don't want to find the real one. Right, of course. That'd be weird. Why would you want to? Yeah, I wouldn't want to see that. Where the fuck is this clip? <laughs> you don't want to see that. Jesus. I don't even know where it's at. Whatever. There's a dude's asshole on uh, YouTube right now somewhere, though. Somewhere. I'm sure if you want to find it, you'll fucking find it, you sick fucks. How to shave your asshole. Jesus. Hey, uh, How to shave your asshole 101. When did you start doing the thing you do with your tongue when you be pronouncing that? <coughs> My engineer says it sounds like you're drumming when you rap. Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe like um, my mid-teenage. Mid-teenage, maybe. I don't want to say my whole life, but... So is it ours only? Yeah, like, yeah. like you can somehow roll your tongue no nah, matter what like, you say. It's like, man, it's, it's, bro, it's really just talking lazy. Just And then, like, I don't fully pronunciate my words. And then the more aggressive I get, it just come out. Mm. Yeah. I think that's the best way I can explain it. Do it right now. Do it right now, yeah. I'm a dirty bad baby from dirty bay with a dirty case. Slide down your block, light it up with flames. Yeah, yeah. Do it regular talk. Yeah, like have you ever like just been talking to a bitch and be like, hell yeah. Let me really kick your pussy. Yeah, it come out all the time. <laughs> that shit's fire. It's it come out. They like that shit. They say freaky shit about that. I mean, I think it's funny. You know what I'm saying? I think it's stupid, but of course they like it. So who gives a fuck? Uh, Texas is on fire right now. I, Dude, yes. I, I, Texas I just, has always been on fire, bro. Like every favorite rapper of y'all's, y'all's favorite rapper love Texas. My two favorite rappers right now are you and Big X the Plug, and he's on, on your album. Yeah. But both of y'all motherfuckers that song? can rap your ass off. Who's yeah. the other guy on that song? Big Yavo. Oh, yeah. Who's on tour with Big X? Yeah. yeah. So I think I, they did that, and I think that's what introduced them to like getting it in. Mm. And uh, I think uh, me and X had that song before both of us blew up. Wow. 
Yeah, and then we, I just held it for so long and then ended up fucking with my boy Johnny and he got cuz over there at the smoker club, so it was easy to punch that in. How did uh, you end up linking with uh, Johnny Shipes? Uh, my, my, all right, so look, I started fucking with my doggy Greg mm-hmm. and then from there, you know what I'm saying, we were just doing shit, uh, booking shows like at the Lux and things like that, taking it one step at a time. He ended up knowing a dog named Fee. And, um, you know, they, I guess they were boys, you know, and Fee was the one that kind of connected the dots for all of us. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's crazy, too, because, like, if you think about, like, I feel like finally, because when I, like, when I was growing up, because I'm from Arizona, right? So, like, we got- I got, I got family in Queens, Queens Creek. Queen, Queen uh, Creek. Yeah. Phoenix. Yeah, Queen Creek, yeah. Queen Creek or yeah, Queens Queen, Creek? Queen Creek. Queen Creek. It's a neighborhood, right? It's a it's a city like forty five minutes outside of Phoenix. Yeah, that's right. It's I, like a suburb where people like went out and built yeah, houses. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had some kinfolk out there. But we have like growing up like the lowrider shows. So it was like I mean obviously MC Magic from Phoenix. Did huh? you guys fuck with MC Magic in Tucson hey, or in Texas? Uh, hey, yeah. MB mm-hmm. riders and shit. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, we we uh we got that uh we we yeah hey yeah uh. But it was like Magic, it was Little Rob, it was like Bash, who's Vallejo, so Texas representative. Pretty girl. Ooh, yeah, that one, right? Yeah, for sure. Auto-tune, crazy ass auto-tune. Super. It, no, it's not auto tune, it's a talk box. He's got the, it's a talk box. He got the hose in his mouth. The Roger Troutman. The Roger the Troutman. Are you shitting me? <laughs> I'm not shitting you, sir. <laughs> That's crazy. It sounds like some super auto tune that shit. It does. Nah, it's right? the Roger Troutman, bro. He's actually when I was little, I used to call it the Robot Boys. The Robot Boys. Look, this fool. <laughs> this fool's got fucking. Uh, it's a talk box, bro. Look, this shit is. Wait, this is an interview. You don't want to see this. Dog. Is that your boy, Magic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my. You know if he owns all his shit, all his people? Does he Why you, tr- you, you you trying to clear a record? Pretty girls, we got we sampled that pretty oh, girls. I gotta hear that. Yeah, it's stupid. Hold on, you gotta. See. Where the fuck is his? Here it is. Yeah, damn, that's crazy. Man, you yeah. used to hear that Look, every morning. See him freaking the, the box. So he'll be on stage with the fucking box. And he's that hoe. Oh yeah, that's a whole watch, different watch. type. Like a queen. <laughs> that's hard. And he playing keys, bro. Yeah, yeah, he's actually playing the keys. Yeah, no, nah, that's hard. Yeah. 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 No, you guys gotta fuck with magic. Wait, pretty girls? We we sampled that pretty girls. Is pretty girls MB Riders or MC Magic? Uh, MB Riders. MB Ryder. No, it's MC Magic. Are you sure? Because that's his group. Because if it's an MB Ryder song, you're going to have to clear it through uh, upstairs. I looked it up on ASCAP and said MC Magic, but I'm not sure. If it's a Magic record, then... Oh, yeah, yeah, no, that's it. Wait, Pretty Girl. Oh, no, it's MB Ryder's. Damn. You're going to have to clear that shit through upstairs records, and they will hit you. <laughs> What's it? What was the name of that lady? Is it Joe Lopez? The lady who ran... Uh, you wouldn't know. Yeah, upstairs records. Actually, I believe based in Houston. So you guys... Yeah. Uh, the lady who will be clearing that for you will probably. Shit, I'm independent. I'll just drop that home. <laughs> in the, hey, yeah, look, that is a great rule of thumb. If you're an independent artist, drop it until they tell you to take it down. Yeah. Yeah. They might. They might. They might. Pause. Pause. Uh, Give me that ass, little boy. <laughs> <laughs> is this like a fucking uh, like a ulterior uh, ego of yours where you turn into like redneck OT? I don't know, dog. Like I think I just I don't know. Like, get I'm over just... here, goddamn it! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta stop the interview to tell you about our good folks at Odd Socks, baby. Yeah, shout out to Odd Socks. Now this is what I love about Odd Socks. One, they're family. We love them, but also they have the most comfortable socks in the fucking world. All right. Now look, they got the craziest licenses. You see the Jolly Rancher. These are actually fly as fuck. Some Dorito socks. Uh, they got the WWE license, which is just my absolute favorite. And then, um, personally, my favorite is the Odd Socks Basics. Now, these are just the basic socks. Now, these are in my bag because I'm taking these. I love these Odd Socks Basics. These are literally the most comfortable socks in the world. All right. These are just the plain guys. All right. Also, they got the Scarface, they got the Godfather, and they have underwear. 
what are we talking about? What are these? Two XL Reese's pieces. You know, if if uh, somebody was gonna wear some Reese's underwear, I'd assume they'd be a two X on the size. You know, shout out to the Ghostbusters. Um, look, so much going on at Odd Socks. Uh, what you got to do is go to oddsocksofficial.com, use that promo code bootleg, and you will save 20% off at checkout, all right? It don't matter what you're into. They got all the licenses, Coca-Cola. You could be a Pepsi guy instead. They got both. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you're into maybe some anime. They got all the anime licenses. They got Naruto. They also got, um, they just uh, uh, rolled out the new uh, Power Rangers, Transformers, all that oddsocksofficial.com use the promo code bootleg save 20 percent off right now oh my goodness let me tell you something the best part about my bookie is not only is it the best sports book period i mean look we're in the middle of baseball season and baseball season is big money season if you are a gambler you know baseball is where you get the money all right not only that but they got the full-fledged casino going on, all right? I'm telling you, last night, I'm on my bookie. I'm playing roulette with a lady. I'm looking at the lady. She's on video. She's rolling the wheel. It's a movie, all right? They got blackjack. They got uh, whatever you're into. Blackjack, craps, uh, man, all kinds of slots. Some of these slot games are so fun, all right? Listen, everything you want, all on one site, mybookie.ag. This is the best part when you sign up with our promo code bootleg. Not only do you help us out, but you help yourself out because you're going to get that first deposit bonus. Money to gamble with immediately free once you sign up. Mybookie.ag. Use the promo code bootleg. Get the first deposit bonus right now. Let's get back into the interview. I don't know, man. I'm just fucking weird. Yo, have you ever been to Beaumont, Texas? Uh, I've been around it, yeah. I've been there. I have yeah. a cousin that lives there, and he says it's like this redneck fucking. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, it's, it's you know, good. yeah. Mm-hmm. But he said it's like redneck ghetto. But it's yeah, yeah. But it's a little bit of everything, you know. Texas like is a. West Columbia shit from Vegas. Yeah, there you go. Mm. Like West Columbia is a B count, Brazoria County, where in the area where we at. So that's the area you're from. I'm from Bay City. That's like a county over. Okay, is that when you say I'm from Dirty Bay? Dirty Bay. Okay. We call Bay City Dirty Bay, Be Careful, or the Bay. Mm, I like that. Dirty Bay. So if you ever hear me say, Be Careful, Texas, that's Bay City, Texas. BYOB strip clubs in Dirty Bay? Um, we ain't got strip clubs. But in Texas, I feel like they're all bring your own bottle. Yeah. yeah I, thought I, was. I went to a strip club out there one time, and they were like, we just sell the ice, bro. We just got ice, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, there, there's some BYOBs in Austin for sure. I went to a, I went to, a, but I don't go to. Strip I went clubs. to the Yellow Rose in Austin. Yeah, right. Yeah, it was cool. My dad, my dad, he he punched in with all them boys. But yeah, I uh, I don't really go to strip clubs. No, what my dad th- had me at those motherfuckers when I was like 13. Really? Yeah. I mean, I was at a strip club. When I, I was seen 14. the. I, I was like 14, seen the black girl. This shit was crazy. So listen, you know how you know how like we can flex our picks. Some of us can, right? Yeah, yeah, some of us, right? Right. I seen this black bitch do that shit, and her titties damn near uppercutted her in the chin. I was like, dog, that's insane. And they went this way, like. So she, she could like, do it by like. Yeah, yeah. Were they fake? Nah, fuck no. Jesus. I don't think so. I don't know. I was a kid. I don't know. So you went to the strip club when you were thirteen? Something like that. He, I would never, I would never be inside, but I'd always be around it. You know what I'm saying? Outside, women walking in and out to the car with my dad. You understand? Because my dad had. What was with your dad the, doing? You know, just doing what Chuck do. Was he pimping? Nah, I don't know. Was he pandering? Uh, nah, he, uh, <laughs> uh, he, nah, he definitely. Did he manage any talent? Yeah, some man, something like that. To the yeah, yeah. He was, he was out there. He just had what they wanted, you know. And you I need the in call, you need the out call. Your dad's got it. Right, and you I want the GFE, he, It's he, a little extra. Right, he a cool ass motherfucker too, as it is. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to your dad. Yeah, definitely. He's not even a rapper, and he get red carpet everywhere. Well, because he's that guy. Yeah, I, you know what I'm Because he's saying? the GFO provider, there, GFE provider. There you go. You know what I mean? There you go. So if I wanted to go, if, if, if uh, my producer over here, who's single, apparently, right? Cyrus is single, despite sleeping with the same girl for a year. Jesus so, Christ. So if Cyrus went to Texas and wanted to get laid. That's not a relationship. That's just that's just he could teamwork. Call you, your dad could, could situate him in Texas. Without a doubt. Okay. That's good to know. Without a doubt. The first, I went to a strip club when I was 14. It was in Mexico, and I got my dick sucked for $15. Jesus Christ. Yeah. What a steal. <laughs> Puerto Penasco. 
Shout out to my how cousin. Long, how long did you? How long was it? Like you remember? Yeah, I actually remember it pretty vividly. <laughs> so like, <laughs> of course, yeah. But like, was it long? Like, was it longer than being high? No. Then I don't know if it was that much because I would much rather got some. Well, weed what happened was, I my cousin paid to get me into the, get me in. Yeah. And then he went to the back with a chick, and then this chick, I'm my fucking child at the time. Right. She takes me to the back. And she starts, I didn't have any money. Right. So she starts sucking my dick. Or no, she gave me a dance. He paid for me to get a dance. That's it. Yeah. So then she took my dick out and she stopped right before she's going to put it in. And then she was like, and I was like, how much, you know? And she like put her head out the fucking curtain to see if like the whoever, the pit Whoever boss was the, pimping her. Right. Was like, she said 15. Ugh, she wanted you. I said, I said, Ugh, my cousin will pay. You. I said, my cousin will pay, right? So this yeah. is what's crazy. The whole time she's sucking my dick, she's paranoid. Yeah. That whoever's like walking the halls of the fucking VIP area is going to know she's in here sucking dick. So I bust and she takes all my cum and she just wipes it on the wall. Animal. <laughs> what the fuck? And then we go sit down. Like nothing happened. And I just remember thinking to myself like, fuck, someone else is going to go in there and get my cum on their shoulder. Dog, listen to this. Hold on. I'm going to cut the camera off. One time, I oh, I guess they're going to see it regardless. Long, <laughs> long ass time ago, I was knocking this hoe down, right? And then boom, I'm talking about nutted all in her asshole, bro. <laughs> all like a Twinkie, right? And then check this out. She told me, she was like, sorry, daddy, I didn't nut. I just popped a perk. I was like, bitch, I don't give a fuck. Why are you telling me Why this? Why are you telling me? I don't care. Yeah. I like, did. What? I'm all right. Nah, but then it was like a huge, like I couldn't, I feel like after that, I don't think I've ever really just chopped it up with it like that again. Like that was a, that's when I realized, yeah, I don't like girls that are. That do drugs? Nah, you know, eat well. Nah, because like I like you know it's kind of my boy G said this. Mm -hmm. Check this out. So I, I was I had this homegirl with me. Keep in mind, this motherfucker told me she, some. She told me some shit. Look, this anonymous friend of yours told you some shit. <laughs> right? I can't. I don't know. I don't know how to speak on it. So fucking great. I mean, fucking my boy G saw a homegirl do this to me from across the room. She said, "Hey." I looked over and she went. <laughs> <laughs> is that the wait wait you did that or no, she did she that did. She like, like, like let's smoke oh that looks like come eat my pussy nah okay, she's okay. talking about like, like, oh, okay, gang, okay. like gangsta fire ass bitch up. like fire something up alright fire something up and that's when he said bro like I'll give a bitch a perk I'll give a bitch some weed I'll give a bitch you know what I'm saying but as soon as she start asking for it it's, it's a like, problem ew I'll offer it uh, ew <laughs> Mm. You can't do it, though. you know what I'm saying? That's, so that's when it kind of made it click for me, like, man, you know what? You're right. And then, like, a week later, homegirl, like, yeah, I popped a perk, poppy, sorry. I'm like, ugh, fuck. I didn't man. even notice. You shouldn't have said nothing. Yeah, yeah, fuck that. I thought you came, bitch, fuck. <laughs> also, like, who cares? You came in her butthole, right? Without a doubt. Yeah. Was it messy? Like, have you ever had anal sex and had the shit on the dick ever? Mm -mm. Never. Shout out to you. Batting a thousand out here with the anal luck. Yeah, but I also don't just be sticking everything. You shouldn't be. Yeah, Houston yeah. got a is it a, at a all time at an all time high right now with syphilis. I just saw that article. You saw that? Syphilis. Have you ever had STD? Uh, I had a gonorrhea. Are you shitting me? Yeah, it sucked. That's wild. Are you shitting me right now? No, I had gonorrhea like I don't know ten years ago maybe. Your your beast getting through that. I mean, it was a shot of penicillin to the ass. And really? I, and that was it. Really? Yeah. I thought that shit was like uncurable. No, you're thinking of uh, herpes. Herpes is uncurable. Oh, okay. And gonorrhea. I, had, I, had, I think, I, I, think I, was, I had chlamydia as a kid. Yeah, chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis is a shot of penicillin up the ass. That's what's up. No, I think I took like a pill. Or yeah, where it's like a giant pill. Yeah. And then they're like, like fat ass horse pill. And they're like, don't fuck for two days. <laughs> yeah. That Sorry, in? can't do it. I don't yeah. know what to tell you, dude. That shit hurts when you piss for sure. I no, I don't think I burned. Oh, I did. I had gone to read. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. That shit was terrible. Oh, bro. Hold on. Explain that to me. So I was at the So you didn't know until you pissed you had it. Or you knew, and then you were like, fuck, I got to piss. Well, so what happened was, at the time, I fucked this stripper. Jesus Christ, son. And at the time, I was in a relationship. And so, I woke up in the middle of the night, and my dick was stuck to my boxers. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like... That boy had cookie crumbs on the tip of his dick. Right. Imagine having to wake up, and you got to... And then I'm like, no, no, no. It was just like, it was like my dick was dripping, right? That's why. It, Jesus, dog. Yeah. And then I pissed 
and it burned like a motherfucker. And I was like, all right, let me cause a fight with my, uh, at the time, significant other. And, uh, you know, just kept fighting for about a week. And so I, I went to the, la- the the spot the next day and got the, the old shot up the ass. So you told her you had it? Fuck no. No, who? Told who? Your significant other. Of course not. I cheated on her. <laughs> but that's why I'm like, so but wait, the, hold on, so wait. She never knew. What do you mean start an argument? I just started fighting with her, so we didn't. she didn't try to fuck. Oh, okay, it makes sense. Yeah, okay, my fault. I got lost. Yeah. So you start the fight, and you're like, all right, cool. I can't have sex for like four or five more days, because yeah. I got the Rhea of the Ghana. That blows dick. It was lit. it worth it? Yeah. <laughs> It was worth it. That was up, baby. Yeah, it was worth Going it. Going down like James Bond in this motherfucker. God damn. It was I, worth it. it I was respect it. it, dog. Yeah, it was like, you know what? A uh, little fucking trip to the lab. You get the shot up the ass. 72 hours later, you're cleared how up. Many, how, many, how many diseases do you think is acceptable until like, you're like, ah, right, you a dirty ass nigga? Five. Five? Yeah. I'll take that. Especially if you're from where you're from. If everyone's got chlamydia, fuck. Yeah, dog. <laughs> it's crazy. Jesus Christ. Even, even AIDS, like Bay City got AIDS out the ass, dog. Literally. AIDS literally no out of the ass. That's yeah. where they come from. Literally. <laughs> literally. Like, dog, like, it's, it's there. Um, where do you find women when you're, like, in dating mode? Is it the DMs? Is it? Nah, I don't really. I don't really just be on the phone like that. Like, it, like, it, like I got, you got to be here. Like, I got to well, You got to know. Like, you got to meet a per- have an interaction with somebody. Yeah. Mm. Like, I got to. Like, the majority of the time, it just be, like, off some. Like, like if I'm girls right here, shit. I like it. Yeah. Um, how I'm not going to go out the way to like, hey, bitch, what's up? What you doing? Or like meet her. Like hit her with the hard eyes and the DMs. Yeah, no. No. And I've heard from a lot of girls that they don't even like that shit. So like it make me not insecure, but like it make me not even want to text them. Like, because I think I overthink it. Like I'm going to hit them. They're going to be like, oh, this thirsty ass rapper. Right. And I'm a rapper. So like they expect that shit. And it's like, I'm, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not really no dirty ass slut like that. I don't, need, I don't be fucking like that. You know what I'm saying? So like. I just avoid it anyways. So like I just that's what I'm saying. I just I just catch them in person. Um how important it is is it for you to kind of like make sure cuz I feel like you know, we're having like a renaissance of like Mexican artists that are just just flat out like dope as opposed to like when I feel like when I was growing up you'd be like, "Oh yeah, that's a Chicano rapper." Like they're not really making music that like the world can enjoy. Right. They're making a very specific type of music to a specific audience and if something crosses over, cool. For you, you're just like fucking amazing, bro. Like, cause uh, I have, but you I, also represent who you are. I mean, it's in your name. Right, right, exactly. But I, I also, um, like, I wasn't boxed in when it came to music. You know what I'm saying? My dad and my mama was jamming everything from here to here. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So, uh, I think I, I just, I think the only reason why that is is just because I just grew up in a different area. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes that's all they know. Yeah, and that's why it come out like that. Who was like a was there anybody from fucking Texas that was popping as a Mexican back in the day? SPM, Lil Bing, Big Flake. SPM was the guy. Lil Bing. Shout out to uh, Dope House Records. You know Lil Bing? I don't know Lil Bing. Lil Bing. Lil Bing? I do not, sir. And, and Big Flake. They got that house party. Uh, house party. I drank Bacardi. Uh, park joint with my Lexus. Yeah, with my Lexus. It's a car key. Yeah, there we go. There you hey, go. y'all really be like... Is SPM like fucking like a like a god figure in <clears throat> Texas? Just to a lot majority of them, yeah. What about to you? No, not really. Yeah, because he's kind of like a controversial guy. Because he's obviously in prison for some crazy shit. Like, yeah, but I don't even think of that shit. Like I, uh, cause like I like I said, I already wasn't really just glorifying him like right. that. So like I already don't even put my mind into that. Right. Like I mean, he fucks with me, and I respect that. So I fuck with him back. That's as far as it go. Have you linked up with Baby Bash yet? Who's he lives out there? Mm mm. No, nah, not really. You guys should smoke together and share stories about stuff and ecstasy and women's assholes. <laughs> I believe it. He that, seemed like he that has type fucked of every porn star you could think of. I believe it. He was a pretty ass motherfucker back in the day. Yeah, Bash was smashing for sure. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Hey, who's who's your goats? Like, give me your top five all time, man. Mm-hmm. Your favorite, not like who you know. Just give me your favorite. I like. Uh, I'm gonna put like my Rushmore. Your Mount Rushmore. I think I've done this twice a day. And I'm gonna keep it the same. I got, I put Big L, Fifty, Wayne, and Hobson. Wow, Hobson. Big Big L, Fifty, Wayne, and Hobson. What was the? Because I remember when I first downloaded the Seven Minute Freestyle with Big L and Jay Z. Mm-hmm, that ninety eight, the ninety eight yeah. freestyle. 
And from there, I was like hooked to Big what L. What he say? What he say? The uh, I'm so ahead uh, of my time. My parents ain't met yet. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is. And funny. he like murdered. Uh, he fucking murdered Jay Z. Yeah, I was gonna say if, if he was still alive, do you think we'd have a Jay Z? Well, from what I heard before he passed, he was supposed to be signing with Rockefeller. So I think they would have been heavily connected. Of course, but like. Jay-Z was already doing his thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jay-Z was doing his thing. Because you got to think Lifestyles of the Poor and Dangerous came out and was kind of like not necessarily- I got like, that CD in the truck right now. Great fucking album. Yeah. Great. You know what I liked about him Put too? it on. Yeah, well, put it on. It's great. But you ever hear the song Devil's Son? Yes. Oh my God, so good. <laughs> that's, that's the one where he's like this, like with the glasses, right? What project is oh, that? Oh, you're thinking of the big picture. No, Devil's Son was just like a Lucy. It wasn't on oh, either okay. one of his albums. But okay, he's talking okay. about being the Devil's Son. Yeah, yeah. Nah, he crashed. Yeah, no, Big L's one of them ones. So, Definitely. So, what, so Hobson is kind of interesting because he doesn't get enough love, I feel like, you know? Bro, that motherfucker's an animal. He was shitting on a lot. He yeah. would talk so much shit, but it's because he had a chip on his shoulder, you know? I understand it. Shit, I used to be mad at a lot of motherfuckers. And, you know, my friends, like some of my, I used to have, I used to be, because I'm an angry ass little fucker. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I hate that shit, dog. Like my anger, honestly, like it, like I be, I, get, I used to get so angry, dog, that whenever I'd calm down, I'd feel like I got jumped. Cause like I'd be so like, Rah! you know what I'm saying? Like, you feel like you have anger issues? Man, fuck yes, dog. I've been fucked my whole life. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, uh, <laughs> we're talking about Hobson. Yeah, and, and, yeah. Ho anyways, Hobson. You know, I understand. Oh yeah, my fan. I understand why he feel that way. You know. He just got, he just angry little fucker, you know? But I remember my fans, like, I would get new fans, and I would be kind of, not mad, but I would be like, bitch, you should have been on this jump. Right. You know what I'm saying? But then I realized, like, man, he probably just ain't, he, you know what I'm saying? Word of mouth ain't got to him yet. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. You is, know it, what I'm is it hard for you to, because, like, you're, I mean, shit, you got a song on Rap Caviar right now. Uh, this Johnny Dang record is going fucking nuts for you. Yeah. Is it hard for you? Because you've kind of had like a little like cult following for a minute, right? So yeah. now that you are like popping for real and like going viral, yeah. is it kind of hard or weird at least for you to just get just random like kind of passive fans that like aren't, mm -mm. I mean, it's good for your pockets, I'm sure. Oh yeah, without a doubt. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I expected it. I knew they was going to fuck with me, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, of course I'm grateful for them and I understand the power that I have with them and I, I like that shit. But uh. Man, I've been rappers. I was four years old. I've always looked at myself like a rapper. And you're like, your top four is very rapidy for sure. <laughs> Duh. I like it, man. Yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah. Thank you. What's your Mount Rushmore? Your Mount Rushmore? Uh, it's Nas. Ho. Oh, I, that's crazy. I've been jamming the fuck out of heaven. Shout out to Nas. Heaven's a great record. Yeah, heaven was a Um Yeah, yeah he's crazy. It's probably Jay. Jay Z. Yeah, Jay Z, Nas. Jigga Man, okay. The other nice. two, I guess, like if you were just talking about my top four favorite, yeah, it's probably Jay, Nas, Andre 3000. That's cool. That's a cool one. And Ghostface Killer. Ghostface Killer? Wow, that's a cool one. That's a cool one, though. I'm from Arizona. I'm sure. That's crazy. That sounds a cultured ass motherfucker, I, bro. People be reacting to Johnny Dang, thinking I'm Paul Wall, thinking Johnny Dang. I mean, thinking Paul Wall, Johnny Dang, thinking Jody's Paul right. Wall. You know what I'm saying? And they'll see swangers and be like, "What the fuck is that?" You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I, there's a lot of uncultured motherfuckers out here. A hundred percent. I mean, you guys do everything different in Texas, though. I'll say that. You yeah. go to Texas, it's just a vibe, bro. It's like, man, dog, it goes down. Yeah, you guys, the cars look different. Yeah. I, I think uh, everybody got their own stilo though, you know. I think that's cool as fuck though. Like you could see somebody and be like, "Oh yeah, he from Cali," or he, or he even hear the way they talk. Oh yeah, he definitely from New York. You, there's a way people from here talk. Hell yeah! Give me an like an impersonation. What's up, fool? Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These are my Mexicans. <laughs> All of them, even even. What, hey, homie. Uh, hey, what's uh, up, on, on a day, hey, you're on, a mark. On, on, a, on a home, on a day, home, <laughs> yeah, you know, man. Slide the block, catch the ops. You ain't even catch. You not from catch, man. I'm, man, I'm, hey, I'm in Texas talking about what's up, cuz. Uh, where you, <laughs> where the toilet bowl at? I you got shit. Got cholos in Texas, like hardcore, like orderly food. Man, in the valley, yeah. Or, or even like Lubbock. Yeah, I, would, I think a lot of the like, lot, like, like I think the guys like yourself, Peso, Peso, you got a lot, a lot of flavor coming out of Texas. Man, hell yeah, but it, I, man, we just. I don't, I don't know how to say it. We're just Southern. Yeah. It's like the best of both worlds, kind of. You yeah. guys got great Mexican food. Not as great as here. 
but great. <laughs> Don't do that, dog. Because we'll have a whole argument. What, what are we talking about? What I, are you talking about? L.A. Mexican food is superior to Texas. Are you shitting me, son? <laughs> it's not even close. <laughs> what do y'all use for video? What kind of meat y'all use? Y'all use goat meat? I think it's meat? goat, yeah. See, nah, that's where you're fucking up. We use fajita. No, not for video. Nah, you can't use fajitas for video. See? Right? You know who, but you know who really has the best Mexican food is San Diego. Because no. it's just Tijuana. It's like, I try San Diego. you go to like Chula Vista, San Diego got that shit. I got the spots. Out here? Hell yeah, I'm from out here. Okay, yeah, yeah, come on. Texas got cool Mexican food, but yeah, it's this, like. This is my dog, YBE, right here. YBE, what, the what's best? The, what, YBE, what's the, what's the hood name? Well, I'm from West Covina, city of West Covina. Shout out, is that the 562? 626. 626. Look at me fucking up my. Shout out, shout out. I think every time I go through West Covina, I get Raisin Cane's. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Hey, Post Malone got that pink one. A pink raisin cane. In Utah. That's fucking ridiculous. I want to go. I loved Utah. We went to Salt Lake City, downtown Salt Lake City. The Mormons is out, bro. Bro, yeah. It's cool, though. Hey, whenever I heard I was going to Salt Lake City, I started looking up videos of Mormons and them. Dog, these motherfuckers moved a house. Mm. Like they, they, like, they had the floor out, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. they, they were all standing up, like, with the fucking... The base, you know what I'm saying? Right. Holding that bitch. And they were in, in like, bro, like, it, it, like they were all in sync. And the way they fucking maneuver together yeah. and work together is like... Mormons are great people. I went, so I went to high school in a Mormon like they area. Like, they're going to survive. Yeah. Well, they also... You know they don't fuck. They dock. What is it? They like can't, dry hump? They can't thrust. They put the dick in, and it has to sit there until the guy comes. You shit me? No. Soaking. Yeah. Soaking? Soaking. Nah. Yeah. You fucking hold on, right. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Hold they can't thrust. It's against their religion to thrust. Soaking in that pussy. So if hey. you're like a Mormon woman, low key, your Kegel game got to be crazy. Holy fuck. That's, I want, bro, I want to knock one of those man bad pajamas down now. God damn. I'm trying, yeah. That's crazy. If that was the case, if I, I would just like, I would just like squeeze as far as I can in there and like, and just sit there. You know what I'm saying? Like a full on. I think, that's what, they, I think that's what they do. That's because they have to. They can't waste a, a a seed. Yeah. So like every nut has to be for a child. That's why if you notice a lot of Mormons, dude, are I ain't gonna lie, you twelve know people. Hey, I done knocked plenty of my kids off. Those motherfuckers down the drain. Yeah. Pop that hoe out one time. <laughs> you ever have to pay for an abortion? No, sir. Good for you. No, sir. Yeah, yeah. that's a rough thing. Yeah, I was almost giving up for an abortion. My nanny was like, "What the fuck? No." Wait, what? Yeah, my mom, my, my mom was gonna get me up, but because her mom was like, "What are you doing?" Like, no. How old was your mom when she had you? You don't mm -hmm. mind me asking. Younger? I don't know. She was twenty. She was twenty six when she passed, and she passed in oh seven. I was eight, eighteen. 18. Damn. Nineteen, son, right? That's crazy. Mm -hmm. I had my son when I was seventeen. That's cool, man. I want kids. I want more now. Like, I wish I started when I was twenty. Well, you know what? I wish I was three kids deep right now. Really? Fuck yes. That's a wild, that's a very Mexican thing to wish. <laughs> Jesus. Man, who got kids? Bro, having kids is fire. You got kids? No. Having kids is fire. Who got kids? Fee, I know that shit. Man, that shit's fire, right? But you about right? to go on tour and shit? Yeah, that shit's cool as fuck, bro. You got to get all this rap star shit out first. Like, you're, you got to get the rap rapper shit out of you, like, for real. You got to go through this without worrying about, like... FaceTiming at the end of the night. Well, okay, check me out. That's why I'm, uh, boom, get her pregnant right now that way. The first nine months, I ain't, bro, the first nine months and the first, like, bro, I don't, I don't got my, and you know what? Shout out my dog E, because he helped, you know what I'm saying? He's the one that broke it down to me like this. And he was like, what you should do, because I was talking about, I was like, I want kids, you know, all this and that. And I was like, should I wait? Should I, should I, what should I do? Right. And he was like, this is what I'll tell you. He said, the first, you know what I'm saying? He said, this is how he feel, of course. The first nine months, I ain't got to be there. The first two years of the baby being born, I ain't got that's all mama and grandma shit. Right. I don't got to be talking to my baby until my baby can fully comprehend what the fuck I am telling it. So just gone for two years. Not gone. <laughs> of course, look, of course not gone. No, but like, but like you can go and hit the road. I could go do what I got to do. Right. That way, while you handling all that, I'm handling this so right. we can chill. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? Of course I'm going to be in the kid life. I'm not going to miss the, the baby being born. I'm not going to miss times where I'm talking to it in the belly. You know, I'm going to be here for that shit, but baby, I got shit to do. Hey, let's stop the interview real quick to tell you about our good folks at King Palm. That's right, man. Shout out to King Palm. Uh, we're talking about nothing but that organic. All right, 
that natural, them leaves, all right? There's no tobacco involved, and they're so smooth when you smoke in them. I love King Palm. It's the only thing I'm smoking out of. Now, if you go to your local uh, liquor store, you go to your local smoke shop, you can get King Palms. Of course, 7-Eleven's got the King Palms, and they have so many crazy flavors. Like, shout out to Sugar Sean, who's from um, Phoenix, Arizona, my hometown. He's got his own flavor. They just sent us these. Now, what's dope about King Palm is that they have the the terpene-infused flavors. So at the end of the tip of these pre-rolls, right, you get the leaf, you squeeze the tip, that's what she said, and then you just get a burst of flavor. This is that honey mango, all right? Now, this is the most important part. This is absolutely natural, tobacco-free leaves, the cleanest way to smoke, all right, trust me when I say it, man. We love King Palm over here. So many flavors. I mean, shout out to the grape. Shout out to the honey mango. Shout out to the sugar punch right here. You know what I'm saying? Look, if you go to kingpalm.com right now, you can get hooked up with everything you need at 50% off if you use the promo code bootleg or bootleg kev. Try either one of those. I forget which one it is. It's bootleg or it's bootleg kev. You know what? The correct promo code will be down below. Use the one that's down here, kingpalm.com. Get 50% off right now. Shout out to King Palm. Also, want to shout out to our good folks at Blue Chew, baby. Shout out to Blue Chew. Now, this is what's going on with Blue Chew, man. Everybody keeps asking me, does Blue Chew work? Yes, it works, but don't take my word for it. You're going to get a month for free when you go to bluechew.com and you use the promo code bootleg. A month for free. Now, what is Blue Chew? Fellas, if you're dealing with erectile dysfunction, fellas, if your dick is not getting as hard as you'd like it to, maybe for your wife. Oh, huh? I don't know. Listen, all you got to do is go to bluechew.com. It has the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but it's getting delivered to you in a chewable form right to your door in discreet packaging, and you do not have to go into a doctor's office to get Blue Chew. You go to bluechew.com, you use the promo code BOOTLEG, you get a month's supply delivered to your door discreetly, of course. Discreetly. No doctor's appointments. No going and leaving your house and sitting in a lobby and waiting for some, you know, lady to call you in so you could tell her how your cock's not working properly. It happens, fellas, all right? Bluechew.com, take my word for it. Also, take their word for it because they're going to give you a month's supply for free, just $5 shipping, bluechew.com, promo code BOOTLEG. Uh, let's get back to the interview. Have you ever been to the Houston Rodeo? No, sir. I'm not going until I'm performing there, but hang on. You're coming soon? I don't know. But I, uh, so like, I, you know what I'm saying? I kind of felt that. I was like, damn, I should just knock Over all this kids, shit yeah. out. Yeah, knock all this shit out, be chilling. And by then, man, I could, you know, really like fuck with my kid like that. Because I'll be seeing my dog, you know what I'm saying? And he has his kids and bro, that shit look fire. I missed out on a childhood, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, I, and I'm not the happiest person right now. I'm not depressed neither, but I feel like there's shit missing in my life. And I feel like I'm going to find my happiness it. in my family. Do you have any, uh, do you have a dog? Yeah, Bushwick Bill. Oh, that's a sick name. What kind of dog is it? He's a he's a pocket, but he's a runt, so he looked like a micro, a little midget. Like a like a bully? Yeah, like Bushwick Bill. Oh wow. Yeah. Do you feel like you kind of like it's like your kid, you know? That definitely. I tell all my that homies who has a car seat in my truck, stairs to my bed, See? like fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, that's so you let the dog sleep in your bed? Son. Fuck yeah. Me too. Yeah. I, I have son. two dogs in my bed every night with me and my wife, just a yeah, fucking Pomeranian up, and a Frenchie. That's what's up. You ever wake up to a fucking, uh, fucking a, a, a duty on the fucking bed? I better not, but I wake up with his ass in my face all the time. <laughs> my dog be rubbing his yeah. balls on me all the time, bro. <laughs> it's like unavoidable. Yeah, nah, dude. I just got Larry's hey. balls on my arm every day. Larry's balls. <laughs> Living like Larry. Yeah, damn. Nah, yeah, Bushwick. I ain't gonna lie. Bushwick's balls, like, one sits on the other. But I think it's because he has no room. He has no legs. He's like, tiny. Yeah, so, like, they just kind of, like... <laughs> Sit like on each it. other. Uh, you told me your Mount Rushmore. What about your favorite albums ever? Um, like I said, you're man. not an album guy. You yeah, were saying, yeah. But if I, you know what? Fuck it. If there was that one album, I'd say the J Cole that uh, the Forest Hill Drive. Yeah, Forest Hill Drive. Yeah. yeah, great album. Yeah, and that's because like I know the name of that. I've heard everyone. That's one that I'm familiar with. Even that. What's that one with Kendrick? The Mad City. Good Kid, Mad City. Yeah, that hood was pretty dumb too, for sure. Even, even yeah. Oh fuck, Get Rich Dodge. The whole soundtrack. 50. Yeah, yeah, that, every yeah, all of that. Um, no, not the soundtrack. The actual Get Rich Dodge. Yeah. The album, not the. There was two. There was a soundtrack which had like 
Yeah. You're thinking of the album too. But even the soundtrack was stupid. That soundtrack was probably- it had that whip your head boy, the MOP yeah. shit. Yeah. Whip your head? Yeah. You like G Unit or 50? What does that mean? Because the same. No, one is a group and one is just Dolo. Are we saying, do I like Beg for Mercy from G Unit or like a Solo 50 album? Yeah. Solo 50. Yeah. Keep Richard I trying. Yeah. But I love Lloyd Banks, man. Yeah, Lloyd Banks definitely. He's a punchline king, bro. He was he? I don't remember. They call him a PLK. Okay, I probably got to go back and jam him again. And just his voice. He got a rapper ass voice. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, he was he could rap. He had harder like bars than 50 for yeah. sure. Are you sure 50 had the melodies and the hooks and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That player shit. Cuz had some punchlines. Uh, who has been somebody that's reached out to you that kind of like, you had to like pinch yourself or be <clears> like, what the <throat> fuck? I got a DM from this person. This person knows who I am because you've been getting, getting a lot of notoriety lately. <clears throat> Russ. Russ. Yeah. He just DM'd you? Nah, I uh, I posted something. I posted, uh, I said, as a rapper, I follow, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is who I follow. Mm-hmm. I was really just giving game to, like, other rappers. Right. Like, who I watch. And then I guess he saw me post it. You said Russ? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, I added him, and, uh, you know, you ended up responding. You have to do a record together. Eventually, but I don't ever want to be that type of motherfucker that just be asking shit. So, like, I kind of let it happen. Mm. He does uh, those chomp CDs where he's like, gets all the lyrical motherfuckers on some joints. He should get you on some shit. Hopefully, man. We're going to see what he's talking about. Any of the New York? Royce, what the fuck are you waiting on, doggy? Any of the New York guys tapping? Like any of the Griselda guys or no? They don't like me, dude. I don't think that's true. <laughs> nah, I don't know, bro. You know what I have noticed? Some people be thinking I'm a dickhead, man. Why? I don't know. Because you wear a cowboy hat and carry a chicken around on fucking YouTube. <laughs> I guess. Like some like like maybe motherfuckers, motherfuckers just think I'm an asshole and uh I guess I can be, but like I'm not. And uh like well, like CJ, shout out CJ Casino. I remember one time I saw I watched this motherfucker like watch me. Like mm-hmm. I watched him peep me, check me out, all this shit. And you know what? It's at a Hyde Park photo shoot and uh and uh shout out Jacob and Happy. And uh I was over there and Miss Megan came up and she asked me something. And I was like, oh, yeah, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, whatever, whatever, whatever the fuck I said, but I, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm a good, respectable kid. I've always been that way. And uh, <clears throat> I guess he saw that, you know, he kind of just like, I see him watching me, you know right. what I'm saying? And then when he sees, like, I'm not who he thought I was, he came up and was like, hey, man, I fuck with you, dog. Like, you hard. And, That's dope. And, uh, you know, I was like, shit, yeah, I appreciate you. Has Travis Scott tapped in? Uh-uh. He don't, it's about, it's, it's going to happen. Like, he got uh, to. I don't know what they following, what the fuck they waiting on. That's what I'm saying. Like I'll be getting, I don't Him know. Him and Don I, Tolliver, call me, call they got to tap in. Call me an emotional ass motherfucker. I don't know what the fuck it is, but like I'll be like motherfucker. It's now, it's now or never. Yeah, they're gonna tap in. I mean, you. I mean, you, you know. Hey, when you have a record that's like Johnny Dang, it's a hit record. Yeah. It's free promotion for Johnny Dang. Is he just giving you grills for life? Him and Paul, or are they just like, whenever you need one, pull up. We got you. For every million streams, we'll give you another like ring or something. No, but I didn't. I don't expect nothing. You know what I'm saying? I didn't do it for that. I did it because like it was just a part. It's, it's not even. Texas it's not shit. even talking about fucking jury. It's talking about being high. Chinka. A hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? A little so, like, racist. I, yeah, a little yeah. bit. So, like ten percent, which I think we're comfortable with. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So I mean, shit. You know, so, and, I, and that's why I look like. You know what I'm saying? So. It's because it's, it's like a, like how Jay Z be doing. It can mean two things. You know what I'm saying? Like, it can mean two things. Yeah. That's how everybody else is what's your uh, what's your favorite song on your album? All of them. Oh, that's a fucking terrible answer. Think so? <laughs> yes. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Why the name? Give me get, break down the name of the album and the con. I mean, obviously we talked concept a little bit. We said Ralphie was doing skits, but what's the actual concept? Uh, you know, I, I'm a Texas Mexican. You know what I'm saying? So like, I feel like that's a a uh, big difference between any other type of Mexican and uh, Lone Star, you know, being Texas Luchador, I was always been, a, I've always been a fan of wrestling, right. and you know, what I'm saying, I feel like it was a good representation of the Mexican culture. So like, Lone Star Luchador, it just, it just sounds like a fucking sick restaurant too. Yeah, maybe one day it well, just, it just made perfect sense to me, you know, what I'm saying, and then after that, it eventually became an ego. You ever watch Nacho Libre? Yes. Do we think Nacho, like, I, by the way, it's a great movie. Did you tell them that they were the Lord's chips? <laughs> so good. So good. Remember, he he fucking jumped on, when he jumped on Ignacio's and he fucking farted. Uh, it sounded so, like a fucking car gave out. I was like, bitch, your asshole just blew it's out. It's crazy because if you think about it, like in 2023, like Jack Black couldn't play that guy. It'd be racist. They'd be like, yo, they, they, like. And you know what's crazy? Movie. And you know what's crazy? I thought he was Mexican my whole life. Jack Black? Because of that movie. 
Swear it I worked. So he's because he's a sick ass actor, bro. He sold that shit. Yeah, bro. Okay, how would you? All right, so look, I saw this thing. I mean, what? Well, well, okay, so hold on. It's racist well, for him playing a Mexican. No, I'm, I don't know. I'm not saying it's racist. I'm saying that like, like in that 2023, like, yeah. they would be like. You, I don't know, man. Who gives a fuck? Like, dude? Yeah. It's fucking funny. They say who, that you had the best, uh, not your Libra impression, but really it's Jack Black because that's not even him. He's not even a Mexican, so he's oh, he the fuck. So he's like, like, yeah, he, yeah, he, you're right, you're right. That's crazy. I didn't even think of that. Uh, album comes out next Friday. Is it next Friday? Is it next Friday? Yeah, it's next Friday. Damn. July 28th. Bro, I'm so happy, dog. Like, I'm just ready for the world to hear it. It's a dope album. I think my favorite record was, was it called Groovin'? Groovin'? That shit's hard. That's like kind of your, like, ode to your, uh, your, your substance. That's the OTV Gorilla. That shit's crazy. You remember that, Greg? That's the OTV Gorilla, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, I'm excited, dog. I, I just, you know, I love this shit, man. So it's just easy to fucking do it. And um, I'm grateful, man. I know this isn't your first body of work, but are you like considering this because this is kind of like your first project since you've blown up? Is this like. I consider it like my first project, yeah, because like. <clears throat> it's, so, it's so much more, yeah, it's so much more than just, you know, songs to right. put together. It's, there's actual emotions, there's thought, you know what I'm saying? There's like fucking meaning behind shit. Right. Mm -hmm. Tattoo on my fucking belly, you know what I'm saying? You got a lot of fucking sick tats, dude. Thanks. Shout out to Weezy. This one probably hurt the most, my kneecap, that shit. Oh, yeah, it's getting right this up into... Texas Mexican. Is that the fucking Texas Chainsaw Man? Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> They've remade that shit way too many times. Bro. Dog, and they're all garbage. Yeah, it's like every time they reset it. And I'm like, Honestly, I don't even like scary movies anymore because like, they're just too predictable. Like When I watch, when I say I want to watch scary shit, I want to watch something that fucking disturbs me to the core of who I am. You ever watch The Human thing. Centipede? Yeah, but that's not, that's not disturbing. Did that's, you watch the second one? The Prison? Or, the or one no, where they oh, with the black the, and white. Black the baby's and white. fucking yeah, head. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. I seen that one too. That's that, a one, fuck that one was a little bit more better. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Them shits is crazy, bro. The prison? Hey, who was homeboy that passed? Uh, he played in Roscoe Jenkins. He played in the Green Mile. The, uh, Clark Duncan. Michael Clark Duncan, yeah. He was the he started the human centipede in the in the what, the fourth one or the third one? How many are there? They did a whole prison. Bro, they I only saw whole, one and two. Bro, he fucked this bitch while she was in a coma. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yeah. He's like he was all like he was like I'll make you come in a coma. What is what's your favorite yeah. TV shows? Boondog, anything on Adult Swim. Just Adult Swim. You like uh, what was the one with the cheeseburger and the shake? Uh, uh, Aqua, Aqua Team, Team Hunger Force. Force. Yeah, Aqua Team Hunger Force. Yeah. Yeah. French fries, the shake, the meatball. What about like you fuck with South Park? Of course. Yeah. What, what you think Boondocks is the best cartoon show ever? From it's my personal opinion. Yeah. And it's because the first it has two seasons, because season three was a little shaky. Maybe that was the one where the, the the original writers like weren't weren't writing on the show. Oh, okay, yeah. The first two seasons. Yeah, definitely. And it just it just sucks that there's not enough. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. In Living Color was another TV show I fucked with. I don't know if you know that, bro. Tommy Lee, Tommy, 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 Tommy Tom, Lee, Jim, Tom, Jim, the, the Wayne Bros, Jim yeah. Carrey, fucking yeah. Jamie Foxx was on that. J Lo was bro, dancing. Bro, everybody blew up off that. I that, feel like that shit in Mad TV, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. Saturday Night Live. Uh, uh, Saturday Night Live. I wasn't really into that one. Uh, uh, Chris uh, fucking Farley was dope on Saturday Night Live. What the fuck was it? You remember Mr. Meaty? Mr. Nah. Mr. Media was on a dust one. That shit was wild. Like, I remember being scared of the manager. He was like in a wheelchair and he was all purple. His eyes were poking out. They're puppets. Mm. And uh, it was a TV show. I Mr. Like, Meaty? Mr. Meaty. Oh, shit. Yeah, I think like the first episode, this bitch puts her hand in a fucking frying pan and it fried it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there you have it. Well, listen, man, the new album's coming. Uh, who else on the album? You got obviously Paul Wall. John, uh, Johnny Dang, Johnny. Paul Wall, uh, <laughs> Paul Wall, Drody, um, Big X, Big X, Big Yavo. We got Sploosh. He did the Fitzy. Oh, you know what favorite song? I ain't gonna say it's my favorite, but it's the one I jammed the most. Okay, which one? Fitzy Miss Cause. All right. Featuring my boy Sploosh. Sploosh. That's a hell of a name. Yeah, he from Houston. Y'all got good names out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's all right. He do his thing, man. You know, he's kind of on the come up. I just believe in him, so hopefully he gets his head out of his ass and fixes it. 
We'll go support the album when it drops. Uh, appreciate you coming through, man. It was good to finally meet you, brother. Man, dog, it was a pleasure. Yes, Thank you so much, man. There it is. Yeah. That Mexican OT. Yeah, hell yeah. Boom. Hey, this interview is brought to you by our good folks at Hardeen. All right? Shout out to the Hardeen family in Las Vegas. Make sure you follow them. Hardeen underscore Las Vegas. The number one dispensary, period. All right? The craziest selection of premium, premium cannabis you can ask for. Plus, when you go to HardeenLasVegas.com, you can check out all the other cool stuff they got going on. You know, they got a whole weed university happening in Vegas. Hardeen is where it's at, all right? So if you're in Las Vegas, you get into that taxi cab, you say, take me to Hardeen. And when you get there, you tell the wonderful bud tenders that I sent you, and they're going to take care of you. Hardeen underscore Las Vegas. Go follow them. And uh, yeah, we got another interview coming soon.